Hello everyone and welcome to another six minutes of success with Shanika. We are now moving forward and our first video, we discussed what success meant and you were to define success for yourself. In our second video, you answered six questions to help you on your road to success. In our last video, we dug deep. You had to get over your fear, think about what was causing you to stay stagnant and learn how to move over that fear because fear will not allow us to gain success. Fear will keep us where we are. So for today's video, we will discuss how to create SMART goals for success. You heard me, SMART goals for success. All right, so SMART is S-M-A-R-T, right? But the S stands for specific. You plan effectively with the specific targets in mind. The M stands for measurement. You track your progress and reevaluate along the way. The A stands for attainable. Is it something that can really happen for you? It's attainable, all right? And that means to set realistic goals that are challenging but achievable. The R stands for relevant. Is it something that can happen for you? Like, does it apply to your life? So ensure the goal serves a relevant purpose and the T stands for time. Specify a time frame by which you want to achieve that goal. All right, so this is a nice little poster. And then I have this sheet for you. It's called SMART Goals. How to set realistic goals to aid you on the road to success. And you're gonna write down what your goal or goals are. And then you have your S-M-A-R-T. Now, for those that have purchased my ebook, you already have your update available in your email. If you've not purchased my ebook, no worries, because guess what? These two items, these two, are free on my website. So go to my website and scroll down and you will see SMART goals for success. Now you may ask yourself, why should I set SMART goals for myself? Well, let's see. Maybe perhaps a goal you might set for yourself on next month is to make more money. All right, you just say, make more money. Is that specific? No. So. If you made one more dollar than you did last month, then guess what? That was a goal, right? You met that goal. We have to be specific. So give yourself something that is specific. So you want to make more money. How much more money do you plan on making? How can we measure that? Is that attainable? Meaning, do you have your processes in place to attain that goal of money that you want to make? Is it relevant? And is that time frame appropriate? So let's say you want to make 10,000 in 30 days. Is that enough time? Is it attainable? Can you do it? So SMART goals help you to really see what you want to do. Because we can say a lot of things we want to achieve, but we have to ensure and make sure that our goals are things that we can actually achieve. Now, let's be real, okay? Let's say a goal I had for myself was that I want to run a marathon next month. Let's pump the brakes. Stop riding your tracks because guess what? Your girl, first of all, has never been a runner. Never was and mm, I don't see running in my future. So for me to say that I am going to run a marathon within a month, that's not realistic, okay? Because one, I have to train for it. I have to, you know, train my body for certain foods. I have to increase my water intake. I have things that I have to do. So for me to set that goal for myself within a month's time is not a smart goal of success for me. And maybe for some, but it's not for me. So if you have a business, if you want to start a business, if you want to do something different, in your life as far as a job whatever it is create a smart goal it will help you see if the goal you want to achieve is really attainable because sometimes we can set goals for ourselves that are not attainable they sound good because you may do it but can I do it and that's something else I want you to think about as well just because someone else does something 
does not mean that it is applicable to your life, okay? So setting a SMART goal will help you see exactly what you need to do. Ask yourself, is this goal specific? Is this goal measurable? Is this goal attainable? Is it relevant? And can I do it in a certain time frame? All right, so I wanted to set a SMART goal for myself, and let's say that I wanted to become a singer. Is that really relevant to Shanika's life right now, today? I'm gonna tell you, it's not, okay? So create a goal for yourself that is one that you can achieve. You know, it's always great to create goals for yourself that can be achievable to feel success, because once you feel success, you'll want it again and again and again. So remember, these are available on my website right now on my homepage for free, free 99. So grab it, make your copies so you can create those goals for yourself and use this, okay? Use it and apply it to your life. Thank you for watching my video. I am Shanika.